Yeah, yeah. Yo, that go ahead, the Sandy. headphones too close. Just go. Mm-hmm. Show time. So the quality of people have changed, I think. Back in the day, we'll say like 20 years ago, people was doing things for their significant others. People were having fun. People were doing things. People weren't as stressed out as they are today. Most relationships, I think, right now, today, that I see out there are unhappy. A lot of relationships are unhappy. They portray that they're happy online, in front of people, at family functions, but behind closed doors, they're not. Because the reason why is lack of communication and lack of getting to really know your significant other and what they like, what they do, Sandy, what you can do for them. You know what that just happened? What? It was the Matrix. De- it was devalued. They were devalued. Yeah, they were de- de- devalued in their relationship. No, but here's a Sandy. Here's the point of quality, right? Mm-hmm. When you've been with somebody long and you're getting to know them, see, that's you want to know why people cheat? They want something new, something fresh. Fresh, because they're not, because the girl is not being spontaneous or the boyfriend's not being spontaneous. But you should have known this before you got with the person. Yeah. Well, sometimes you don't know that until no, no, like this year three. No, no, year no. three is the breaking point Sandy, in Junior, most relationships. Junior, Junior. Out. I'm just saying. You, if you, first of all, it takes you three years to really no, know somebody. If you pay the attention to a person, you could see what they're gonna become. You could tell. If somebody was to ever say you was gonna be relaxed, that would be a lie. <laughs> Me relaxed? Yeah, right. They, yeah. You, but I could I could be relaxed, I don't be somewhere. No. Sometimes I just wanna hit you with this money. Personality wise. <laughs> Again, when you're speaking on time with somebody, mm-hmm. think about it. You're doing things with this person. One of the things I used to always say to a lot of married people, especially if they got married young, you've been with somebody longer than you actually been with yourself. Mm-hmm. So do you really know yourself and how much? Because now you're conforming to a person that you're dealing with. See, it's a different. Because you know what I notice a lot of the people that break up in long relationships, what do they want? Time to themselves. Mm-hmm. They want but, their old self back. But you should have had, see, again, before you get involved in anything, and CJ, keep your thought and say what you were going to say. Before mm-hmm. you get involved, you should already know and have an idea of who you are and what you want. Mm-hmm. See, the reason why I knew I wanted to be married young, because I already knew who I were. I knew what I wanted. I'm just like, yo, if, when I was younger, if the calling of my life was to be a preacher, which people keep telling me, I knew I was going to do that. And I had the woman there. So I would have been doing what I needed to be doing. But when she went to see if the other side was green left. and found out it wasn't, left. She, went left. she changed the dynamic, but she didn't change the mission. Because I still went and proceeded with what I was doing. But who would have ever thought that I would be doing music? Who would have ever thought right now we'd be doing podcasts? Right. I didn't see that at that time. Mm-hmm. But what am I yeah. doing? I'm still that forming changes. my identity, uh, my identity, my I- ideologies. Okay. So Got now... It. When I meet somebody now, who are they meeting? A seasoned person. Mm-hmm. Qualities. They meeting a person. What he do for a living? I work at the post office. Now, CJ could tell you, I don't have to work. But why do I work? I'd rather use their money to continue to fulfill what? My yeah, goals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, goals. No, not dreams. Goals. goals. Mm-hmm. Now, I'm using somebody else's money. So when I go to work, everybody's like, you're always happy. Why? always happy because yeah. one i'm not coming here to make money i'm coming here to sustain my money so your ideology your way of approaching is different so while some people need the paycheck or have to work overtime to support their living yeah, they burning themselves out mm, yeah at two yeah, point the, the, if, they, if they don't re- if they don't relax Sandy, in between or you know i'm saying things. it to who it applies i know i know yeah. if it don't apply to you hit dog holler <laughs> I'm like, what? He's a hit oh, dog man. collar. What? So you got hit with the rock. <laughs> that went over your head. Yeah, it did. I know it did. <laughs> so again, I'm speaking from my perspective. Mm-hmm. See, you don't have to be rich to live a rich lifestyle. Yeah, oh, I know. You can be comfortable. Your bills is paid. Enjoy your life. That's why, like I said, I keep using CJ because. When CJ did what he was supposed to do, now he was seeing a bigger picture for himself. 
I didn't show him a picture. Here, CJ, you're going to live this life. Right. He had to paint the picture himself. Yeah, he has to paint his own picture because, it, you know, if, if he paint, if someone else paints a picture for him and then if it doesn't work out yeah. the way it's supposed to work yeah. out, he's going to go back and blame that person. He's yeah. not even well, going to look well, at it just, as accountability for himself. I would, well, I would now, you know, I uh, can't really... I mean, I, w I would raise an eyebrow, but I'd be more mad at myself. But that goes back as far as results. Like, as far as, like, you know, what I did, what I did. Now I see it. Now I have a whole, I got, now, I, damn it, picture, I got a whole movie. You know, so I got film and everything. And it just about two years ago. No, no, you know what? Just last year, I never, never thought I would see myself in this position right now. And it's really, it's really really overwhelming it's really like a cool glass of water with three ice cubes on it it's just squeeze real, it, no 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 <laughs> just fresh water you know that that just goes as far as you know i know um we did results already but that just goes as far as results as coming part of qualities and stuff it's just now i'm just trying to i can't i can't even say this we're trying now i'm working on just being more balanced and stuff you know less worries mm -hmm. you know no stress no worries shout out tj um Man, I forgot my thought, the train of thought I was going to speak on from the episode we just did about you marriage. You said something about marriage. Right, 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 right. But I'm, it's not in sync, so I'm just scratch that. It's not it's what we're talking about because we're talking about qualities and everything. But um, It is qualities of marriage. No, but it was, it was, it was you but know, quality. Oh, yeah, part two. Quality. All right, yeah. So how I, how I said I was just, it's really, I, I don't know. I'm not too sure because I had a real personal, I had a conversation with, you know, my father because he got married. Like I said, I, I know I know you mentioned well both y'all mentioned you can't take, you know, having an opinion on something you didn't experience, but you know, but him having you, but listen to what you just said. You mm -hmm. just already said the answer. You yeah, said yeah. your yeah. father. Right. But you're not your father. I get that. That's why I said scratch it. It's not a thing. There's no so there's no point in me even bringing it up. You know what I'm saying? Just talks he had with me saying this was what marriage is like at a young at a young age. I was like, yo, I don't want it. This is what it's like, you know, because it seemed pretty uncomfortable. Like I said, at I'm a not, young, I'm not, I'm, can you please say the age? At a young age. No, what's the age? <laughs> oh, nine. <laughs> nine. A nine year old <laughs> talking about he don't want marriage. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So make was, that make sense. You know, so. Because it's what they experienced. They, they, they saw that their parents was, mm -hmm. or a parent. Sandy. Yeah. A nine year old. What did I just tell you? My aunt Thanks. called me simple at 10. 10. A nine year old was experiencing marriage. Mm -hmm. Listen. Mm -hmm. Listen. Proceed. You know, so yeah, I, I, like I said, I know, I, you know, I can't apply that now, but that, that's what I was thinking at nine. So no, I wasn't teaching about love. I wasn't spreading, you know, at nine. So it was just a whole bunch of thoughts and not like that. And I was like, man, I was like, if this was like, and it seems like, you know what I'm saying? Complicated, it seems like, you know, I see like a little different, like I see it's a different aura. I don't want it. So I just wanted to get that out there. So I know it's not in sync what we're talking the about. The Lord you know is saying, I you know want to hear what she's going to say. I don't even got to say nothing no more. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, I just, I just had, to, I just wanted to get that out there. But yeah, that's why the whole thing now, like, you know, it's just a big, I, I'm not sure. I'm not completely closing the window. You know what I'm saying? The screen door is there. I can see, I can see through it. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Screen door, but I'm not completely closing the door. It's just really, it's just, I'm not sure. So it's a matter of time. Yeah, we'll see. That's yeah, all we'll it is. See. It's a matter yeah, of time. So. It's about a time if, when you're ready, when, when the, right door opens mm -hmm. you know because it might not be the kitchen door you might go out you might be going off the living room door mm -hmm. you know you might find something out that side of the house who knows i don't know it's crazy <laughs> all right so what would you say you're gonna go at me for what what no i said you talking junk over there listen i didn't talk nothing because again the man said at nine nine he determined he determined he, that he, he didn't even have a job yet yeah mm -hmm. but he's it was is what he's seen he probably seen a lot of arguing said, back we, and we forth we know that listen listen please listen i'm listening the boy at nine determined before he even had a job, he didn't want something. DN, there's no arguing with that. At nine, what? why is a nine-year-old having that Kids experience? Kids at young age determined that they don't want to eat broccoli and look no, at them now it's, eating broccoli. No, Just saying, this, as an I, example. No, no, your assessment is correct. Mm -hmm. You can change. A nine-year-old should not have that experience. They is what I'm saying. But it's real life. I. <laughs> Forgive me for laughing. Yo. <laughs> it's real. Life. You know what, people? Forgive me for laughing. It's real life. That's all. So, yeah, no, we um, know it's real life. Oh, I just said a nine year old should not have that experience. Right. And her answer is. It's real life. Real life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, like I so said. So, you know what? Uh huh. So nine-year-olds should be having a bunch of guns and killing each other, right? Some of them do in certain times, I know. certain years. It should be happening is the point. It shouldn't be, but it's real life. But you know why it's real life? Because people let it happen. Because of single mothers. Some of them, yeah. Single mothers, rap music, and the gangs that are in their neighborhood. And that's what they grow up seeing. That's what they do. Okay. See, now you just took... 
See, this is supposed to be unbended knee, mm-hmm. too. See, when you keep bringing in all these different things, angles, mm-hmm. I know. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna reel we're gonna reel it back in. We're not gonna go off the grid. No, no, because you know? again, it's just gonna open the door to more conversation. Because yeah, yeah. again, when we come together, mm-hmm. this is what the people like to hear. So we're doing what we do. But the fact of the matter, because it might be a part three to this, but it's gonna be broad. Because again, you have to put things in a proper okay perspective. If the world is the way it is, the world's just spinning. Who's making it the way it is? People. Mm-hmm. Why? You know why? See, Sandy, you don't be listening to the, our episodes. So if you listen to I the do. episodes, you will be caught up with the conversations we be having. Go look. No, go listen to the oh, Warrior Warrior one. Ones. Yeah, exactly. I haven't listened to the last two. That's why I send them out because again, it's a format. This is episode eighteen. Two is missing because, and those two conversations actually plays in what we was talking about because mm-hmm. we was addressing that. Mm-hmm. See again. The problem with the world is what? Anger. That should be an episode. Why are we so angry? Mm -hmm. Molestation. Mm -hmm. The collection. What's the other word? Overlook. You can put any word in there Mm -hmm. and you're putting that ideology in a child. And they growing that. That's why you said that was crazy when you said a five-year-old could teach another five-year-old love. Hey. You can. Okay, you just named gangs. Mm-hmm. You didn't mention nothing about love and none of that. Because we were talking negative, so I kept it on the negative. No, scale. no, no, no. Yeah. You mentioned gangs and everything else. Mm-hmm. See, no, I speak from a positive perspective because, again, know. I don't care about what's going on in the world. I'm saying what part can I make it better? That's my perspective. That's the reason why I'm in this room. Every, if you listen to even on Clash, I'm talking about how we can make something better. I'm, you don't never hear me talk negative in my music better how can we make something better see i'm in a position i'm in to show you results of how to get better better, better. stop complaining about what you don't see and focus on yourself and be accountable and do what you need to do for yourself and get around the right people that can help you get where you need to go i know you guys gotta do these right things guys mm-hmm. this that's that's, the, that's it i know see if you keep sitting up there saying oh this is person is the reason I ain't doing. Oh, that job. This, this. You're deflecting. I don't deflect. 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 I like that. Like for instance, look just to do what I gotta do. Look at my day. Just for this, I had to work nine to five thirty. Got home at six thirty. Well, I got home at six. Wash up and everything to get in bed by six thirty. I had to wake up at nine to go to the bank to get money. Because I'm getting my CDs pressed and I have to pay this person Sunday. I have to come do this 10 to 12. Then I have to go home, go to the gym. Then go support my brother and him doing a video shoot. When do I have time to sleep? After the video shoot. But look at everything. And I did not complain. And I wasn't late or nothing. That See? I wasn't late today either. <laughs> I did <laughs> what I needed to do. Because you're responsible. That's a responsible thing to do. Oh, Qualities. So you could keep saying, see, when you're not responsible, guess what? You're not going to value a person because you don't value yourself. Dante is good. Let's Some of all these episodes <laughs> and what I just, right Let's there, if you're not responsible, you're mm-hmm. going to devalue others because you ain't even valuing yourself. So, you know, so you got, when y'all hear the last three, you probably, you know, you know, saying we all add up the last three. You probably, you know, use that calculator. You know, equal up to what Dante just said. That was pretty good, my brother. I got you up for that. That was pretty good. Uh, that's that's pretty good. <laughs> Listen, people. I believe in God. I don't care if you believe I believe in God. I don't care what you think about me. God put me in a position that I'm in to be a living epistle. That's what the Bible says. As long as I'm alive. Don't get no ideas either. But as long as I'm alive, I'm going to make sure I'm going to be an example, not just to men, but to women that there are good men out here. It doesn't matter what I did wrong. And I admit it on wax what I did wrong. I devalue women by not giving them. They will tell you he's nice, though. He he didn't 
and there might be something I'm saying he's an a hole. <laughs> but if you sit down, they're like, yeah, but it's their fault. But here's the point of what I'm sitting up there saying. I'm telling you this, cause I'm telling you why I made the decisions I made, and how we can help and heal from that. It's up to you if you want to take it or not. But if you like to be a pig in mud, oink oink. <laughs> That's on you. I'm not going to try to help you if you don't want to be helped. So the bottom line is, that's what I'm about. This podcast or whatever you hear, my voice, music, whatever. That's what my album is about to come out next month is about. July 17th. Healing. Mm-hmm. Healing. Until we start talking about healing, we're not going to get nowhere. And you know who's getting hurt through this whole process? Who? The children. And you know what I said in my song? You do know they become adults. All they do is repeat what we felt. Did that hit below the belt? <laughs> Thank you. Pretty good. Pretty good. That's in my song. Matter of fact, we're going to put that song at the end of this. Um, I'm not, but yet I am. No, I'm something like that. Mm-hmm. Burke don't want the song. <laughs> but Works like the whole point of why I said that song was for this reason. I said I'm not a conscious rapper. I'm a rapper with a conscience. Can't tolerate none of this nonsense. It's garbage. Our minds in the gutter. What a shame how we treat one another. Motherless child. Fathers is just absent. Okay. See? I'm not just bashing. Fathers are not absent. Every day feel like a bunk day. But it was hump day, not Wednesday. That made the everything we see today. Tomorrow's not promised. See? All right. Bust. All right. All right. <laughs> so listen. I like the people that's in this room because we don't step on each other's toes. We hear each other out and we compliment each other. And the reason why we did these episodes the way we did it is we hearing you people. People say just get to the point. We made right. it shorter. Mm-hmm. So when y'all were sitting up there saying Dad, man, this is so. Sh- Listen, we're for the people. That's what we're about. It's true. The support you give us is the support you're going to get in return. We don't care about numbers. Numbers is great. We care about subscribers. Share the, button. The more subscribers we receive, is the more people we are impacting. I don't care if it was 20,000 views. If there's 200 subscribers, 400 subscribers, that means there's 400 people that was impacted by the words that we said. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's my closing moment. Y'all got- Tune in to CLBMG <laughs> on YouTube. Oh, That's man. where you can catch all our shows. No doubt. Yeah, exactly. That's we are already YouTube on, is. what, episode 18. And yeah. thank you for all the people who've been tuning in and listening to my wild self. Wow, Sandler. Oh wow, this was this was qualities, and um, this is this is supposed to be a pick. This is a piggyback of unbended knee. We might we might have a part three. Who knew? Who knows? But um, but again, but again, uh, share personal experience. I share personal experience. See, I get on this mic, share personal experience. I, I observe. Um, also, I soak things in like a sponge. You know, learn as I go. And um, but like I said, you know. I'm not deteriorating from marriage. Marriage is a beautiful thing. Weddings are beautiful. The cakes are awesome. Uh, it's a good reception. Oh, <laughs> but uh, other, but no, seriously. Other than that, man, just uh, I'll just just continue striving. Just you know, work on yourself. Continue striving. You know, you might come across that worthy opponent, or you know, you exactly. Just, I'm trying to you find know, my worthy opponent. You know, so mm-hmm. again, just um, just keep your head up, people, and um, always come with just find find a solution. If there's any problems, find a solution. Stay positive. Well, tell us, is, give us a question, and we'll find your solution for you. And don't forget. Don't get emotional. emotional. I just yes. want to give you content that you cannot read. Cut! <laughs> <laughs> Trap, you did your thing on this. Oh, now you want to talk. Honestly, 
I think we're past the talking. Past it for real. Yeah. Just need you to listen. Put me in position where my heart's missing. Lost the feeling, find hatred and healing. Think we get there again? I don't think so. Love's in the rear view, plus the years spent with you. Wish I could undo all I did with you. Done for you, now I'm done with you. Used to be lovable, now it's personal. Can't stand your voice, what you mean can we talk? In my mind, see you laying down in some chalk. Tired of the curses, speaking in third person. Same thing we playing over like we rehearsing. Here's final curtain, finally changed my demeanor. No more back and forth, Venus and Serena. Stay within the lines, everything is fair play. After I say this would be on my way. That's right. Femininity for happy days. So can we talk? Can we talk? 